you filming me today? That's how are you, okay. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I can't wait to see your place. Yeah, come on in. Thanks. Just a warning, there's six flights of stairs. Oh gosh, I'm used to it. No worries. Uh, oh wait, you have an elevator. Yeah, so you can take the elevator if you want, but I'm going to take the stairs. Darn it. How many flights is it again? It's six. Okay, I'm going to take the elevator. Okay. I'll see you up there. I'll see you up there. <laughs> I beat you. <laughs> yeah. Do you take the stairs every day? Uh, yeah, well I don't have a gym membership, so uh, it's a way of exercising and it's my New Year's resolution. What do you do if you forget something? Just gotta run down and run back up. <laughs> Just a warning, there's six flights of stairs. Just gotta run down and run back up. <laughs> By the way, I love the area that you live in. What's, yeah. your, what's your favorite part? Uh, probably the fact that there's always something going on. It's 5 o'clock. What have you been up to all day? Uh, just cleaning my apartment for this video. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's see it. Oh, there's a hallway. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my apartment. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Do you feel like this is the normal au pair experience? No, I think I got pretty lucky with this. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I forgot to ask, where are you originally from, by the way? I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I'm guessing this is a, a cart of Melbourne? This is a cart of Melbourne. <laughs> what do you miss most? Uh, probably my family and my friends. Do you ever get homesick? I do. How do you cope? Uh, I'll just call my mom or remind myself that I'm only here temporarily and I've got to make the most of it. What is one thing you wish before you wish you knew before you moved abroad? Um, probably how isolating it can be at times. I see there's a guitar here. There is. I love it. Do you play? I do play. <laughs> what are you working on right now? Um, I'm currently working on We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off by Ella. Eerie. <laughs> can I can I hear something? No. no, no. <laughs> All right. Let's see that view of your apartment outside. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Wow. So, were you here the other day during the whole Notre Dame thing? Yeah, I was um, cooking dinner and then I went and looked out the window, and it was a massive cloud of smoke. I think a lot of au pairs ask us if Paris is safe. Do you feel like you feel safe living here? Yeah, I, I feel really safe in Paris, even at night. What do you do during a sunny day like this in Paris? Ooh, on a sunny day, I'll either read a book in a park or sit by the Seine. And what do you do during a rainy day? Read a book inside or watch a movie. Ah, I see you have tons of books in this apartment. I do. Are you reading anything interesting right now? I am. I'm reading a French book. Called Un appartement à Paris. Oh wow! You're reading it all in French? Yeah, well, I'm trying to. I'm guessing your French is pretty good? Uh, it's getting better, but I studied it in high school and I did a three month exchange when I was 15. So. Are you taking French classes while you're here? I am, yeah. And do you speak French with your family? No, unfortunately, I speak English with them. Ah, that is unfortunate. It is. <laughs> well, what's one thing that you did to help you improve in French while you've been here? Uh, probably speak speaking to French people. Have you been able to make a lot of French friends? Uh, yeah, some. How? Uh, dating apps. Ah, interesting. Would you like something to drink? Sure, I'll take something to drink. Okay, some tea, coffee, water. Coffee will be cool. Or Co Mel Melburnian, as we say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the natural light in here. What's your uh, go-to coffee order in Paris, by the way? In Paris, it would be a cafe long. And what's your go-to coffee order in Melbourne? A uh, strong latte. What is your favorite thing about French culture? Probably the laid-back attitude. And your least favorite thing? Uh, Parisians can sometimes be a bit cold. 
Take a seat. Thanks. Just how I like it, nice and black. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me about your host family. So, um, it's one single mother and then a 10 year old girl. And what would you say is the hardest part about your job? Uh, probably because I live out of their home, it can be a little bit awkward sometimes with the family. What's the best part about your job? If I'm ever feeling down, then my 10 year old girl always cheers me up. What are three words you would use to describe your 10 year old? Smart, uh, fun, and a bookworm. And what is your normal au pair schedule? So I pick my girl up from school most days at 4.30 and then I get off around 7 or 8, but it depends. And do you have to babysit as well? On the occasional Saturday they'll ask me to, but not that often. By the way, has our channel and Au Pair Au Pairs helped you during this entire experience? Yeah, totally. Um, it really helped me with preparing to come here. I watched so many videos before I came to Paris. And then being here, it's such a good community to meet people. Really? Like, what videos would you recommend people watch? Uh, definitely the packing video if you're struggling with packing and the video about how to make friends in Paris. Oh, that's so nice to hear. <laughs> have you been able to make a lot of friends in Paris? How yeah. have you met people? Uh, mostly through my agency, the APOP Facebook page and language classes. Okay, rapid fire round. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, cats or dogs? Dogs. Mountains or beach? Beach. Wine or beer? Beer. Are you a morning person or a night person? Definitely a night person. What's your favorite hobby? Uh, music. What is one thing that annoys you the most? Probably rude people. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Kangaroo. What is your favorite thing about traveling? Uh, discovering new cultures and meeting people from everywhere. Have you been able to travel a lot while you've been here in Paris? Uh, yeah, I have actually. I've been to England, Portugal, Denmark, Belgium, and Germany. Dang! Do you have any souvenirs from those places? I do. Do you want me to show you them? Please. Sorry, I'm breaking your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I recently decided to collect a tiny little souvenir like this from each place I go. So I've only got two right now from Lisbon and London, but I'm going to keep going with that. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Where do you plan to go to after? Uh, so this summer I'm going to Croatia, Greece, and then I'm seeing my sister in Toronto. In Toronto, Canada? Yeah. No way, that's a huge flight from here. I guess yeah. you have to take advantage while you're on the other yeah, side of the exactly. world. Yeah, exactly. By the way, there's one room behind you I didn't notice when I came in. Yeah. My what is this? Room. Oh my gosh, another humongous room. This is gorgeous. Do you take your showers in the morning or at night? I used to take them at night, but now I take them in the morning for some reason, being an au pair. Um, do you work in the mornings ever? Occasionally, yeah. And I guess since we're in the bathroom, is there anything about your beauty regimen that's changed since you've been here? Well, I've had to get used to French products and also the prices of French products. So I probably just use less products than I did in Australia. When would you say you started getting used to all the French culture and just the life of being in an au pair? Uh, I mean, it's still... An adjustment to this day, but maybe like one to two months to get used to being here. By the way, is your host family looking for someone for next year? Uh, no, I'm actually staying another year with them. I've extended my contract. Darn. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so you've been here since August? Uh, yeah, since August last year. And you're leaving in another, I guess, year? Yeah, so next uh, July, July 2020. Do you plan to go home in any time between then? Uh, I won't be home until December, so Christmas time this year. Do you feel like you've packed enough clothes for that time? <laughs> um, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but What's one thing you wish you packed? Definitely more lazy clothes, like my hoodie. I miss my hoodie. Oh, for sure. I have the same problem. Yeah. What's something that you can't travel without? Uh, my adapter. And last question. This huge bed is amazing. Do you ever jump on it? 
Oh, um, I've actually broken one of the beams since being here, so you no, I don't jump on, on it. The bed. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. So no, that's a bad idea. Actually, I have one other question. Are you collecting anything to keep your memories of your time in Paris? I am actually collecting my wine corks from all my wine bottles. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. You have so many. Well, I guess being it's so nice out. You have to enjoy another bottle of wine today. Yeah, definitely, by the sand with some friends. <laughs> well, that's all for my questions. Do you have any questions for me? I don't think so, no. Awesome, well, I loved getting to know you and seeing your apartment. Thank you so much for having me. That's okay, thanks for coming. All right, all right. see you. Have, have a nice great day. evening. Bonne soirée. Bonne soirée.